kind of presented to me was someone did talk to me about being a coach, but when they told me about it, I clearly remember I was standing in my living room and they're like, yeah, you could sell supplements to your students to take your classes. And I'm sitting there going, I don't want to do that. That's gross. I can just go to GNC and get a discount. I got the gold card and that's how she sold it to me. And I was like, no, I, I don't want to do that. Why would I pay a monthly fee to get discount on supplements? I, I don't want to be a part of that. So that was my first exposure to coaching and I thought nothing of it after. You know, she was doing it. She was one of those people that got into everything. So I didn't really want to be a part of it for those big two reasons. So I totally forgot about it and then just went on my way. Then I was pregnant. I remember I was five months or about four months pregnant at the time. And that's when Chalene had come to me and said, you know, I've been looking at this for a while and I totally blew it out of my mind because I didn't want to think about it anymore. And I had to ask her all about it. And that's what she told me. She goes, I've been looking at this because the reason why it was important for her to look at it was she was the new fitness celebrity for them. That was when she created Turbo Jam. So she was in bed, if you will, with Team Beachbody. And then they started this network marketing about a couple of years later. That's where she was like, are they legit? Are they doing something that they're gonna stay and stick with? Is this legit? And since her name was pretty much part of the company with her product, she researched it. She came to me to tell me about it. At that time, I was working for her company, Powder Blue Productions, as the National Promotions Director. Now, little did I know, I didn't know this stuff about Powder Blue Productions back around 2008, but it was a real struggle. Their, their company was really having a hard time trying to increase money. It was work more to, to survive, basically. And her and her husband, Brett, did not want to do that anymore. So they were actually planning to sell the company, and I didn't know that. So when she came to tell me about it, she goes, I've been researching this. I actually been looking at it for a year. I hired a lawyer to look at it. I hired an expert in network marketing to look at it. This is legit. You should definitely consider doing this. And immediately, every time she's ever told me to do anything, when she told me to go part-time for Powder Blue, when she told me I should quit. Like, whenever she tells me to do something, I immediately do this. Because I'm not one of those people that will just bow down and say, okay, I'll do whatever you say. Um, because I really wanted to make sure that the decision was a good decision for myself and not from someone who was looking on the outside to me and telling me what to do. So I, I was like, serious? This is, isn't this like a pyramid scheme? Isn't this thing gimmicky? I don't understand what this really is. And then when she explained kind of in her words of what it really was, it, it was pretty much what I was already doing, but with her company, the Powder Blue Productions. So my role at Powder Blue Productions was to find amazing people who loved doing what we were doing and then basically have them come on board and they could have no skills at all. What we looked for was the person. What they need to be is someone who is like a, a person with good character, good intentions, and good vision and future. This is a parallel to what coaching is, is finding the right people, bring them on your team. They don't need to know any skills. And it's just about finding the right person who matches the tribe and the culture of what you're creating. If you find those right people, everything could be learned. And that's what we were doing. And then the other side is teaching them how to market. And when I decided to start, I was not joining as a coach to achieve a title or to, to achieve a lot of money because I didn't know any of that stuff. That stuff was like over my head. None of it made sense. And that's never why I ever worked as hard as I did. So for Shalene's company, Powder Blue Productions, I worked my butt off all the time for the success as a whole of the company, but also the culture. It felt so cool when you converted someone to drinking the Kool-Aid and loving this culture and the vibe and what we were doing and wanting to be a domino effect themselves. If you look at all the top people in the company, none of them are expert network marketers. None of them are expert salespeople that have just mapped out SEO and sell all the time. None of them are because those kinds of people don't work in this business. It doesn't fit because this network marketing model is a different kind. It's more warm, fuzzy, touchy feely relationship. And that's the difference of longevity and why you would be considering doing it.